Hello everyone! This this video today will be showing how to get custom mod maps on World at War. The other day I had uploaded a video showing how to get this game for free on Mac computers since they don't they're not really meant to be run on them. They're Windows based games, sadly. You gotta anyone out there stuck with these cheesy crappy little MacBooks or are just using them for other things like it's cool work <coughs> card um and maybe what games to play this will be showing how to get the custom maps on World at War <coughs> oh breathing milk is not easy by the way it's not supposed to be happened happening sorry about my bad grammar not supposed to breathe milk. There you go. That's what I did a little bit before this. Sorry. Uh. Alright, first step for getting these to work on that. You need, need to go to your search browser and search wine bottler. The first one should work. Like, should be it. Right here. Click on that. And this is the one that you will need. The Wine Bottle 1.8 RC4 development. You will click that. Okay, it's doing this thing again. It keeps opening random games. When you click it, thanks for downloading Wine Bottler. Click download. It'll show an ad. You'll be able to come up here and skip it. Do not download this. You'll come up to this top corner, opposite of AdFly, and click skip ad. When you do, You come here, don't click any of these ads, they're a bunch of stupid stuff, and it will start downloading on its own. <coughs> ah, it's stupid milk. Go to your downloads. Just doing something, I don't want these things. Why? I don't need that anymore. When this is done, it should just be up here in your spotlight, which I already have right here. But I'm downloading it again just to show how to uh, get it. Don't click on any of those other ads. It's just stuff trying to get you to download their thing. This is what they really want. No. It's not. Now here. Someday. Maybe. Alright. Show and Finder. It'll be as this thing right here. Since I've already got one, all I gotta do is search it like right here. All right, when you got that done, just open it. It'll show up as one of these little things, and you'll have this up here. All you and now you can just leave this be. Hold it over here. Now, in order to get the map, you could, like, it's simple, just Google custom zombie maps for World at War, and I already have one on here, just, these are custom maps that I can download and play, anyone can, actually, but, it's on the Steam webpage, if you don't want any of those, you can just search... Yeah, there you go. You do whatever you want here. Just click on anything that you think might have what you want. Like you got all this stuff. I haven't been to this page actually. I'm gonna bookmark this. These look kind of cool. But when you got them, they should download, and then in there, you click Show in Finder, and it'll pop up in Finder. Just drag it out to your desktop. Now, when you do that, you're gonna need to go back to this and double click the wine. Now, you don't need that anymore, you can exit out of that. Right click, open with, and it'll show wine as the default. Click on that, it'll do its thing, and you will have this show up for anything that you will uh, download. Click next, you agree. 
Now when you get here, you gotta hit browse. Come on. Come on. Oh, I know you can do it. These things are really slow. There we go. Alright, now in order to get to this, I've got it just kind of sitting on my desktop right now. But, here you should just... My computer... Shouldn't they drive C, right? Yeah. Go to my computer, which is further down. Find my computer. Click on it. Go to drive C. Go to users. Go to your user folder. Mine will be 9761. Now you go down to local settings. <coughs> God, milk wants his revenge. Local settings. App data. Go to the Activision folder that you had made for this. And then go to the COD World at War folder that you put in the Activision folder to get the game to work. And go to the mods. Double click that. Hit OK. Install. And when that is done, just click Finish. And you are not done here. Now you need to go to Show Package Contents after you right click on this. And I'll put it over here so it's easier. Drive C, Users, User Folder, Local Settings, App Data, Activision, World at War, Mods. Now it should have put it in here, but apparently it didn't. But it actually puts it into the wrong folder, usually. So if so, just search COD World at War on here. And it should be any of these. That's not it. Just look through these until you find one with a thing in it. Here we go. Mods. That's not the right folder. So you will just drag that out. Go back. And then close out of that. Now, if it does go into the right folder, which usually doesn't, then you won't have to do this. But just in case, like, it usually doesn't. So you might as well just find her, like I said before. Cod World at War, that's an S. C O D W A W. <coughs> this Mac, and just go into your folders until you find mods, and pull out that folder, and then go back to Show Package Contents, Drive C, Users, nine seven six one, which is my folder. You use your own personal folder. In Local Settings, App Data, Activision. Cod World at War, mods, drag it in, and there you go. Now, <coughs> God, that milk does not want to give up. You will open up your World at War, and after the wait, then, oh, come on. It actually starts up pretty fast compared to like consoles. But usually you can just click and skip that as soon as it starts. Sorry about the mouse thing on there. I don't know why that's a thing. <coughs> ah, this milk. It's, it's it's like in my nose. Jeez. Now you'll go to your mods and choose the map that you want to play. That is the map that I just put in. These are maps that I've already got on here. Bunker lags a lot because it's big. But these three are good. And since it's an EXE folder, you can just double click it. But it's like a jar folder or like something else. You usually got to go to the... Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go to the options, controls... Game options, enable console, then go back to the mods, and you will just have to type map Nazi underscore zombie underscore, and then put the map's name after that, so the name of the map that you wanted after that. But since these are just exe files, these should be fine. <coughs> so you would just double click it. 
and it will launch. Brother Sean. Three. Oh, I chose the wrong one. Whoops. That's the one I meant. Sorry. Now, some EXEs don't work, so if it just goes to a blank screen and freezes, then I'm sorry, but you'll have to quit game and that one won't work. Like Kino the Rebirth <coughs> didn't work. And that was kind of sad because I really wanted to play that. But this is the custom map that I had just put in. Not reimagined. Since you can't go online, you can't go to either of these. You just got to hit play solo. And your map will start. Now, this little pointer decides always wants to stay. Like, I don't understand it. I don't know how to get it to go. I don't know how, like, why it's there. But it's a thing. But there you go. Now your map is loaded. You can play your game. And you can destroy these zombies. Voila! Now, I will be playing some of these maps at later times. Oh, I missed that little pointer in here. But I don't want to spoil this map too much for myself. So, congratulations if it worked, and if it didn't, I'm sorry to hear. But, there you go. Quit out of that. You can just hit quit, or like, if you want to reload a different one like I did, just go back in here and do it. If you want to go back to the real game, just hit launch without mods. But, you know, stuff and that, stuff and things. For now, that will be all. If it didn't work, just ask in the comments or something. I will try to have that I will actually have that wine bottler thing in the description so you don't have to go search it and everything but yeah there you go thanks for watching have a good time playing like some of the maps are really big so if they're laggy you gotta think they're just Mac so you know Have fun with your game. That's all I can really say here. You know, that really upset me, Kino the Rebirth, but it didn't work.